A policy resolution called the LEAP Manifesto is up for debate at the NDP convention this weekend. It calls for dramatic action on climate change. Avi Lewis is a climate change activist and co-author of the manifesto, and he joins us from the convention. So, Avi, do you think the party, I'm just going to ask you the question that everyone is asking, and they have to decide tomorrow, do you think the party should support... Andrew, let's, let's, let's cut to the chase, shall yeah. we? <laughs> let's cut to the chase. Should the party support Tom Mulcair? Well, you know, I'm really here to engage with delegates about the LEAP Manifesto, which is the number two thing on everyone's lips. Um, and uh, I, I'm not taking a position on the, on the leadership issue. I'm, real, I'm here representing a nonpartisan initiative, which is essentially a jobs plan for getting off the fossil fuel economy, which is punishing our country and, uh, and stimulating massive numbers of jobs in the renewable economy, while making sure that the workers in places like Alberta are taken care of first and foremost. So, uh, you know, I'd love to go down on the Mulcair road with you, but not going to do it. Okay, fine. Uh, we are showing up. We are showing one of uh, one of the one of the the key demands of your Leap Manifesto, and it says this: We could get 100% of our electricity from renewable resources within two decades. By 2050, we could have a 100% clean economy. We demand that this shift begin now. So, uh, are, are you saying that uh, we should no longer rely on fossil fuels within? within two decades? Well, you know, it's not me saying it. This research comes from a, a famous team of, uh, of scientists at Stanford University under Mark Jacobson, and also from a network of Canadian researchers and scientists uh, across 10 provinces, 60 different researchers, who have come out with very concrete, specific, utterly doable plans to shift our economy to complete renewables for electricity in 15 to 20 years and for everything, including transportation and agriculture, by mid-century. And this is not like a pipe dream or a utopian desire. This is responding to the irrevocable science of climate change. We have a finite carbon budget that's been articulated very precisely by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the network of scientists who advise governments in the UN on climate change, and it's very clear that Canada has to transition off it. Look, there's all, the private investment sector already is shifting massively towards renewables. In 2015, uh, global investment in renewables was twice that what, what it was in fossil fuels. Peabody uh, 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 Coal is teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. And we all know, and people in Alberta, where we are at the NDP convention, know that we need to start making this shift. There's a misperception and a misrepresentation that people behind the leap and others who care across the country want to abandon people in the fossil fuel industry. This is anything but the truth. It's the farthest from the truth. The manifesto itself says that workers must not pay the price for this transition. And in fact, we know that renewable investments create six to eight times more jobs than pipelines. So the LEAP Manifesto, is it could be economic salvation for provinces like Alberta. And I think we're stuck in an old conversation which mm -hmm. doesn't really serve the classic global challenge that faces us. How do we take advantage of this crisis to create a booming new Canadian economy for the 21st century? But, but you also are saying no to new pipelines, right? And then just a couple of days ago, the Premier of Alberta is saying we need a pipeline. So, uh, you sure. know, how do you kind of Absolutely. square that circle? So the science says we have to get off fossil fuels by mid-century, and pipelines that start uh, uh, an approval process or even start a construction process now are going to last 30, 40, 50 years, well beyond the time, 35 years from now, when we have to be completely off fossil fuels. So it's just common sense. Given that it doesn't create that many jobs, and given that we, we, we have a desperate need in this province of Alberta, 70,000 at least workers abandoned by the oil and gas industry that was happy to to suck billions of dollars in bitumen and royalties and subsidies and tax breaks out of this province and out of this country, when the price crashes, they walk away. How do we save Albertan families by creating many more jobs in renewable energy? Pipelines are not an economic solution, and, they're, and, and they just aren't feasible within the climate limits that we face. Are you, uh, how does this work? So the LEAP Manifesto, there is a resolution and it will be voted on. Do you know when that's going to happen and, and, yeah. and do you expect it to be adopted? Well, so the, 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 the convention here at the NDP, like in this fight between, you know, this apparent tension between the Alberta government and the Leap Manifesto, I think is based on a lot of misconceptions and people not actually being attentive to the facts that are in front of us. Here's one fact. The Leap Manifesto resolution that's coming to the floor tomorrow morning at 9.15 Mountain Time 
says that the party wants to debate the, the, the policies in the, res, in, in the Leap Manifesto, that the overall frame of getting off fossil fuels, of recognizing the, the crises of climate change and inequality and structural racism in our country have to be dealt with by big, ambitious, holistic solutions. That framing could be adopted by the party. But the resolution that will come to this floor tomorrow says specifically that the specific po policies in the Leap Manifesto can and should be debated and modified by different communities according to their different realities. We live in a big country with a lot of different economies and a lot of different regional interests. You know, Alberta doesn't have a problem with the Leap Manifesto calling for no more fossil fuel pipelines. The majority of BCers, the majority of people in Quebec are united in a desire for a clean economy rather than an extension of the 19th century economy of fossil fuels. So we have different interests as a country. We could negotiate them and come to solutions that benefit everybody with a kind of civil conversation. But I feel like we're being dragged back into an old debate about let the eastern bastards freeze in the dark and stereotypes about environmentalists that are just frankly no longer true. So the Leap Manifesto resolution coming here tomorrow has a specific provision that calls on the party to debate it at the riding level, to use this document as a conversation starter within the NDP and across Canada to debate these specific policies, and it's not being adopted wholesale. That is a, that's just not what's on the floor here tomorrow. Why don't you run? As a, lead, uh, as a leader of the NDP, or politically? Why don't I? Yeah. Be because I grew up in, in a political family, and I know what we journalists, I've been a journalist for the past 25 years, I know what we do to politicians. It, it doesn't look like a whole lot of fun. Um, and uh, frankly, I'm just really passionate about these, uh, these the explosive potential of growth of a, of a just economy here in Canada where no one gets left behind if we make this historic shift that the planet is calling on us to make. And I think we have a huge consensus. And it, this is politics, what I'm doing. It's just not party politics. Abby, great to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Andrew. Climate change activist and filmmaker Abby Lewis at the NDP convention in Edmonton.